let's give them a little taste of what it's going to sound like. Just because you left and said goodbye Do you think that I would sit and cry? Even if Maud would tell me so Darling, I would rather let you go Just because you think that you're so smart Lovers' hearts. Before I let this thing happen to me, darling, I would rather swim a sea. And I know you think you're smart, just going around and breaking lovers' hearts. Just because I want some. is live on WNCW in Studio B today, coming all the way down from Boston to hang out in North Carolina for a while. How much time do you actually get to spend in your hometown? Uh, less and less these days. We're out. This we're about a week into a six-week tour, so we won't be getting back till about mid-February, and then we're home for a couple hometown shows, and then we go back out again in March. We go to Canada. Playing in a trio, you've got a full sound. Obviously, you make up for membership with the numbers with <laughs> a, a lot of your own uh, technique a lot of your own ability and these beautiful vintage amps tell us about what it's like to to pull off a trio say on tour versus some of the larger groups that you might have played with um well we when pat and i started the band the whole kind of concept of this band was to keep it stripped down and raw and very simple you know three of us uh, the main thing I think of having a trio when you're on the road is, you know, it's just less personalities, less people to, you know, uh, corral into the gigs and get up at lobby calls and per, you know all personalities and all that stuff. But um, yeah, it's just never we we always just keep it as a trio. We've had people sit in left and right and bass players, including, and it doesn't really ever feel like us. Feels like it was designed for this. There are a lot of bands that have started out smaller and then, for various reasons, have added players you know you think of a like not they're not blues but a north carolina band like the avid brothers started out as what a trio probably and then added on and added on and it, and it made sense for them but probably not for ga20 never say never but uh it's also you know it's tough out there when you're starting as a band keeping it lean as far as personnel makes it so we can afford to do these things you know i, I imagine you can travel in a smaller vehicle we've got a pretty big Big sprint. We got the biggest sprinter you can buy. We could, but, but uh, is yeah. is it is it half full of amps and it's, guitars? It's got amps. Lots of we, we got a lot of merchandise. We got a lot of T-shirts we sell, so we got a lot a lot of merch in there. Very good, very good. What is the Boston scene like these days? What's the blue scene in Boston? Um, I, I'm not there too much. I moved to Providence. These guys still live near near Boston. I I'd say it's pretty small. You know, it used to be a lot of blues bands when I was coming up, and 
there's definitely a music scene there because you have Berkeley College of Music and, and some other colleges. But uh, as far as blues goes, I, I'd say it's pretty slim. Yeah, yeah you're not going to find many, like, died on the wool, like, we play blues bands or anything like that. You might see a couple gigs. Um, is, is that something larger than Boston? Is it going on? Is that is that sort of a phenomenon? Is that wh- where the music stands nowadays? It, it it needs a little little bit of boost from a band like GA Twenty, perhaps. Uh, we'd be happy to give it a boost. Um, I mean, there's some great blues bands out there, and there's definitely a scene. I think different parts of the country, you know, thing thing about Boston got very expensive, so not just music, but artists um, of all kinds have kind of started to leave the city. They're kind of not living there anymore. Um, that's why I moved to Providence about five years ago. And uh, it seems like people have flocked to other areas now, just in general, just artists across the board. Yeah, that is tough. And I don't mean to sound like I'm, I'm running down the blues in any way, shape, or form, because it's the first American art form, really. It's where everything else stems from is the blues. And having a, a sort of the, the vitality of that source root, that tap root that you guys can pull off is it, pretty amazing, and, and, it's, and it's vital, and it's very good. Thank you. Thank you. J20 is live in Studio B on WNCW. Got a couple of dates this week. Playing in Charlotte tomorrow night, Asheville Thursday night.